Hey everyone, just wanted to uh, share something with you. I uh, wanted to show you how to set up a Power BI report based on SQL Server with the server name and database name parameterized for a uh, semi-multi-tenant uh, situation. And uh, then to set up the gateway and schedule refresh and all of that. I, I was actually working on uh, debugging this for a client, which is why I have a couple of test uh, versions of a Power BI report already deployed. And you can see that where I was parameterizing just the server, parameterizing just the database. But I have uh, my uh, test uh, version of my Power BI report with both the server name and the database name parameterized. So let me show you that to begin with. Here I have uh, two parameters. You can see I have the server name and the database name. And if we go to each of these queries, you can see that in the source, when I had connected to the source, I uh, had used those parameters for the server name and the database name. Uh, the server name and database name, uh, let's go and manage parameters here. Server name uh, could be uh, either the name of my machine or localhost. I'm testing this on my laptop, but you can imagine that uh, if there was, this were in a proper server environment that I could have multiple destination servers. Let's say that I have a development server, maybe QA server and a production server, and I have the name of, of those servers. And uh, just while we're here, since there is one more way that I might be able to address my uh, server, since I, I have uh, set up the uh, TCP connectivity for SQL Server, I could also just use my local loopback adapter and use the IP address on my local machine here. So that's yet another way that I could connect to my server. And then for my database name, you can see that I actually have two different databases that have uh, the same schema, the same tables with the same columns, so my queries would run against either of those databases. So those are set up. You can see that I have defaults here. So I'm going to close and apply and uh, just show that that does process locally. So I do have connectivity um, to the named server name, Paul Service Book, and my database, Contoso DW. And now I'm going to publish that up to my Power BI service up to my tenant and I'll just put it in my workspace but we could publish that to any workspace that we want Now that shouldn't take very long this is a fairly small file so while I'm waiting for that I'll just switch over to this environment so you can see that that has been deployed I do have my gateway set up and uh, actually have the gateway uh, configuration over here. Now for every unique combination of server and database, I must set up a connection in my gateway. So I installed the gateway uh, on my local server or on a machine within my environment that has connectivity to those servers. And then I've created a uh, connection under the gateway here that points to Paul Surface Book and to Contoso DW. And then I've created another connection that uses my IP address. And just for grins, let's create one more connection. And we'll give this, you know what I'm going to do. Well, I'm already here. SQL Server using IP address. That's going to be a SQL Server connection. So my server name is going to be localhost. Remember, this is connectivity from the gateway that's installed locally, even though I configure it up here in the service. Uh, localhost is available where the gateway is installed. And then Conto. And I'm going to use basic authentication. And yes, we shouldn't use it. SA with a password, but this is my test environment, so that will work just fine. And you can see that I am able to test all those connections, and, and the gateway has connectivity uh, with all of these different permutations of server name and database name. And so now I'm going to go back to my workspace, and I need to take one step before this is going to work. Go to settings, and I have to bind this this newly deployed report to the gateway. So I just have to flip the switch that says use a data gateway. I only have one gateway installed, but uh, I could have multiple gateways and, and the report has to be bound to a specific gateway or gateway cluster. 
So I'm just going to check that radio box, which in effect uh, flips that switch for this gateway. And I just click apply. And that's all I need to do. So I should be able to now to go back to the workspace, to data sets. And then you can see that uh, I do get the spinny. If it fails, it'll fail pretty quickly, typically, if it can't resolve the uh, server name and database name. So it is actually running all of the queries. And uh, since that's done, then it'll update the date and time and show uh, when that refresh had been finished. Now, while we're waiting for that, I can go to one of these other test copies and we can go to schedule refresh. I've redeployed this one. Then I can go to schedule refresh, keep your data up to date. And then we'll add another time and we'll say, I want it to update at 6 a.m. And I also want it to update at 7 30 p.m. or thereabouts every day. And that's going to fire automatically. We'll run an automatic update twice a day. And this is set up and, and will work. Uh, lastly, I can, let me go back here. Lastly, I can go back and I can actually change my parameters right here in the service. And so if I wanted to change my server name for testing purposes to an IP address, I can do that here. And that will just work.